It's been called the blow up couch, inflatable lounger, wind pouch, air chair, the couch pouch, <laughs> inflatable hammock, air sleeping bag, and honestly, my favorite brand name, the Chobo Baggins. I mean, <laughs> you can't mess with that. It's like perfect marketing. Anyway, I wasn't sure which one to review because there's so many of these. So I went to one of my favorite review sites called The Wire Cutter, and they actually did a spread on these things. And uh, their top pick was uh, the Live Infinite Leads Inflatable Air Lounger. So I thought, what the hell? I'll review that. All right, first off, full disclosure, I've actually never tried to blow one of these up because I think you look kind of ridiculous doing it. Um, but once I actually did it, it was quite comfortable. All right, in the bag, you're gonna find uh, the directions. Surprise, surprise. Uh, a yellow steak, uh, and then a prettier steak. I have no idea what this is. Someone please tell me what this is. And the couch pouch. <laughs> I love that word, I don't know why. And the directions are pretty straightforward. I mean, there's some pictures to help you out. Uh, I definitely took a little bit of time looking at the directions just in case I missed something from seeing it done. I uh, opened it up, and there it is. For the record, it'll never be that flat ever again. It's like those air mattresses you get. It's just a joke. Oh, there it is. Live infinitely in purple. Now here are the two chambers, right? Where the air goes in. Make sure the air goes in those chambers. You don't need to make this weird motion like I'm doing. Uh, I wanted to really be focused before I started this since I had never done this before. Um, partially between looking at directions and just instinct. Yes, and as you can see, my instinct was totally spot on. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, what's so funny is I look back at the directions and there's actually like a site you can go to to help you out. Duh. But to be honest, I, I didn't I didn't go to the site. I just kept doing what I was doing and I actually started to get it. Um, I started to fill up one of those sides and once you fill up one side and you get it full enough, you want to roll that down so you don't lose any of that air. And now you proceed to the other side. I know it's complicated. And the whole time I looked really awesome doing this. I just wanted to point that out sarcasm and at some point you just kind of decide that you're done blowing it up and you start rolling it up because either you're just tired like I was or you know it looks full enough and then what you want to do is roll it and clip it and that'll lock in all that precious air you spent the last 10 minutes running around for now it's all ready to go and it's time to mount the couch pouch <laughs> so I thought the best way to do this was to me a running jump uh, as you can see I kind of hurt my ass pretty bad um, I wouldn't suggest jumping on it and as you can see I had to refill it up because my fat ass knocked all the air out of it but that took a little less time and now I decided to go the normal route which was to just actually sit on it ah. yeah there's really no way to do that smoothly but it's actually quite comfortable once you kind of like settle into it one thing I would say though, it is still a piece of plastic blown up. So, I mean, you know, you're hot and sweaty. It's probably not the best material to lean up against, but you know, for a quick spot to catch a nap, these things are pretty cool. And it also comes with this handy dandy pocket for your non pointy valuables. Yeah, no keys. Then I thought it would be a good idea to share this experience with somebody else. So I had my friend come on in and enjoy the couch pouch with me. As you can see, it takes a little adjustment. Um, but you know, you probably want to pick people that you don't mind being close with because uh, you're really pretty much laying on each other. So you know, like a friend or a friend with benefits. You know, I'm not saying she is, but you know what I'm you know what I'm saying. All right. At one point, it started to blow away, and I realized, oh wait a minute, that's why I have the yellow steak. Uh, there's going to be a little loop on the bottom of it. That's for you to stake it into the ground so that it doesn't fly all over the place. Uh, making a ruckus, but I couldn't figure out what goes on with this golden steak. Where the F does this thing go? Maybe someone could, uh, you know, educate me in the comments because I could not figure it out and it's not in the directions. Anyone? Anyone? So after that, I went back to lounging and I just want to say that this thing is cool. I mean, you know, it's a blow up piece of plastic, so you got to be kind of careful that you don't poke holes in it. Uh, and I don't know how long a shelf life it's got. Another thing is it does take some physical energy to blow this thing up. So if you don't like to run around, this may not be for you. I was also thinking, why not a cup holder or even lining it with some kind of other material so that's a little more comfortable when you're laying in it. So your hot body isn't up against just a piece of plastic. 
And you should also be aware that it does deflate after a certain amount of time. So you do have to consistently pump this thing back up. Beyond that, there are so many options out there for blow up furniture. So to have a piece that actually can compact and get really small that you can fit in a bag or say in your car, it can only make a glamping or camping situation even better. And even though you might look a little silly blowing it up, actually, who am I to judge? Thank you once again for watching. I'm the Glam Guru. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions and or comments about this couch pouch, please hit me up here. Or if you like, you can follow me on Instagram at the Glam Guru.